your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, just like we said at the 6 and throughout the first part of the show, we tip our hat to you and Dot uh, and the street crews who did an excellent job preparing the roads and making this tenth of an inch of ice not be that bad on the roads because a tenth of an inch still can cause a lot of problems. They did a fantastic job making sure as many drivers as possible could stay safe. You see there, tenth of an inch mainly further down to the south. You got above Tippecanoe County, nothing really happened. An isolated little blob there. Uh, just north of Danville, more than a quarter of an inch. Once you get more than a quarter of an inch of ice, you start getting power outages. So luckily, that was just an isolated incident in our area. Here's a look at Northwestern Avenue on Purdue's campus. Roads moving just fine now. The rain and ice has been moved out for quite some time, probably about five or six hours now. Temperatures, though, still below freezing, 29 degrees with those mostly cloudy skies. Winds are going to be pretty calm tonight out of the north, around zero to five miles per hour. That wind chill staying in the mid 20s. So because it is so cold, you still could see some ice on the ground if there are any uh, puddles or anything, especially like that in parking lots. We did have a freezing rain advisory in effect until 1 o'clock tomorrow. That has since been removed. As we expand this view, you still see there was a lot going on out there, so there was still a chance for some problems heading into tomorrow, especially if we get some ice, like some models are saying that we will. Here's a look at the track radar. There's that ice and freezing rain that moved out about 4 or 5 o'clock. There's a look at the cloud coverage further to the north, slowly starting to move in will be mostly cloudy really all throughout the day tomorrow as this big system slowly starts to move in. You see all the ice once again associated with that. That's slowly going to wrap up into the area. Going to be hitting a lot of dry air though by the time it gets to us. So most of that really isn't going to cause too many problems. But don't be surprised if tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, you start to see some more freezing rain, maybe a drizzle or two as we get into the first part of Monday morning. 24 degrees tonight. Some patchy fog could be setting in, especially in the early parts of the morning. So if you're going out anywhere around 5, 6 a.m. Make sure you're giving yourself a few extra time, few extra minutes out there on the road or at least being a little careful out there. Winds, again, not going to be that strong out of the northwest, 0 to 5 miles per hour. Everybody dropping down to the low to mid-20s, 22 degrees in Delphi and Rossville, 23 degrees in Frankfurt, and 24 degrees here in West Lafayette. We're going to see a high temperature tomorrow up into the mid-30s, 34, 35 degrees is what most people are going to be seeing. So we'll be above that freezing mark. Won't be until we get to around the lunch hour, though. So there's there's still going to be a chance for that uh, slippery, those slippery conditions until we see those temperatures slowly start to warm up. We'll throw in a 20% chance for some freezing rain. By the time we get to 5, not a great chance as you see here on Futurecast. This is starting at 2 o'clock tomorrow. You see that system still further out there to the west. Maybe a few things developing out in front of it. Futurecast doesn't really have it. I kind of agree with Futurecast here. I don't think we'll be seeing that much as it moves closer to us. This is Sunday at 8 o'clock now. System getting a little closer. It ran into all that dry air and and really didn't get the chance to move past uh, Illinois there. You see it break up until you get to Monday morning. Monday morning for Martin Luther King Day, maybe seeing some isolated chances for some rain and freezing rain further up to the north. Mostly everybody, though, will just be seeing rain for your Monday and also your Tuesday. 36 degrees is going to be the high temperature tomorrow. 36 on tomorrow, 44 degrees, though, on Monday. Going to be very warm here over the next really six to seven days, getting well above average, 50 degrees maybe on Tuesday with that rain carrying over from Monday into the early parts of Tuesday. Then we drop down to 45 degrees, but back up in the 50s again Thursday, Friday, mid-50s. By the time we get to Saturday, we're going to see temperatures around 20 degrees above average by the time we get to uh, next weekend. So once we get past Monday and Tuesday with that rain, warmer and a fair amount of sun as well. I'm loving the sunshine. Even though it's behind a cloud, I'm loving the sunshine. It would be nice to see it, especially after the day we had today I with know. just gross conditions. And I feel like we